Thank you for joining me today, guys. I'm sorry that this video is late. My anniversary was yesterday, so my husband and I were doing some anniversary stuff, and I just didn't get a chance to upload anything. I, I basically took the day off <laughs> to celebrate with my husband. So, what I wanted to talk about today is traditions. So, tradition we think of like turkey on the table or Christmas traditions or like family traditions where you always go someplace, right? But traditions in the Bible actually mean the outline that you follow. So the tradition that I'm trying to warn you about in this video, if you're just become a Christian and you're wondering about it, is the traditions of men that have sort of been weaved into the church and people try to say, no, this is biblical. So, for example, excuse me, the Baptist Church. They have a thing here called Southern Baptists, and they say no dancing. That's not actually biblical. There's no tradition in the Bible that says you can't dance. You can't be lewd about your dancing, but you can dance. Uh, so, the Southern Baptists use this man-made tradition to talk about how awesome they are. Like they say that because we don't do that, we're going to, excuse me, avoid sin or something like that. It's not the case. Southern Baptist sin as much as every other Christian out there. So whatever, like they, they, they aren't winning themselves over anything. And this is why God tells you to avoid the traditions of men. Because many times, just like the Bible says, the tradition of men is designed to make them look good. To say, oh no, we're holy, we're righteous because we don't do thus and such. Okay. The Bible is very clear that what makes you holy is Jesus Christ, the covering of his sin, or the covering of our sin through his blood. Okay. It's not what you do. What you do is part of your worship. It's how you show other people you are a Christian so that we can all come together. What you do pleases God but it doesn't make you holy or righteous. The covering of the blood of Jesus does that. So you have to be careful when you go into a church that the things that they teach you aren't all man-made traditions or traditions that man now does. So even though I did encourage you to find a church, and you should, because you're going to need the support of other Christians, even if they have weird man-made traditions, just keep in mind that those traditions that they teach you, if you can't find it in the Bible where it says not to do it or whatever, then that's a man-made tradition. Just keep in mind that it is that and that, and then what God actually thinks about that. And follow what God actually thinks about that and don't worry about the traditions of men. This is going to get you a little bit of flack in all denominations. Because uh, even non-denominationals have weird little things that they do that's their tradition. You may find this to be true also in different areas where you might live, where certain things may be um, practiced differently or things like that. I wouldn't worry too much about it as long as they aren't saying that you have to be saved in order to do, you know, that you, in order to be saved, have to do this tradition. That's what I'm trying to say. So I wouldn't really worry too much about it. You're really just trying to find some people to connect with who will pray for you, who will have your back, who will help you through the tough times, things like that. And that's really what church is for. It's not really, you're not going to really learn anything there per se. You might learn some basics, but that's about it. Um, your pastor is not there to teach you what the Bible says. The Bible is very clear that the Holy Spirit is our teacher. And that the pastor is one of the things that God uses to remind us to stay on the path. But he's not your teacher, per se. So this is where, this is another thing that mankind has made up, that the pastor is your teacher. He's not. He's there to remind you of the path that we're all supposed to be walking. And he's there to do a couple other things. And that's it, really. These uh, The way that pastors and deacons and stuff are done, especially here in the South, is not actually biblical. So you have to, if you can change it, then I would. If you're able to get into that situation where you can do it differently, then I would do that. If you can't, 
Like, for example, I can't really do anything about that in my local church. Um, just try to find the people that are doing what God says and befriend them, help them, you know, ask them to pray for you, things like that, okay? So traditions, they can be good. However, they can lead people astray too. So follow God's tradition, not man's. Don't worry about, well, this is going to make you look awesome, or this is going to make you look righteous, or you can't be a Christian unless you do thus and such. What makes you righteous is the blood of Jesus Christ. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. And no, I'm not saying, for those watching this, that as a Christian, because you're covered by the blood of Jesus, you can then go out and do whatever you want. No, the Bible is explicit about that as well, that that is not the case, okay? So that's all I wanted to talk about today. I will have a link in the description for a bunch, a bunch of Bible verses about tradition, specifically, and how we're not to follow man's tradition. Another way to look at it also, guys, is in the Old Testament when we, when the Jews were burning incense and they would bring like their doves and their all that stuff to cover their sin and burn it. There was a time, and I believe you can read this in Jeremiah, I believe, where even though they did that, because they were not doing it to actually worship God, they were just doing it to kind of cover all their bases because they were also worshiping the other gods. He did not care that they brought those things. They were disgusting to him and he did not accept them. So it really comes down to, guys, the blood of Jesus Christ. Are you covered in that? Do you believe in Jesus? That's what he's worried about. And after that, you and he can change things. But just don't let these traditions trip you up. Okay, read your Bible, learn what it says, learn why people say what they say, and go from there. Maybe you like the tradition, you want to do it, but you understand it's not per se biblical. That's fine. Just understand what is and is not biblical, what's a man-made tradition, and what is God's tradition. And just be sure you're following God's. Okay, that's all I have for today. Bye.